Hello and welcome back to the Audacious Altmer. So we have a plan. We know we want to attack next. We want to attack Riverhold. Because we have a claim on all of it. And it seems like a very good thing to take. Now, uh, just to have a quick look at it before we get into anything. How much more do we need for the Old Merry Dominion? We need 80%. We're 12% off. Um, so, yeah. We know that a percent is roughly... Um, yeah, a percent is roughly two provinces here. So we need about 24 provinces. That makes sense, right? Although we only took three, and I think I worked out previously I needed 30. I think my previous math might have just been wrong. Yeah, so I, we need some number of provinces, at which point we will be closer to, to getting 80%. That's, that's what I'm going to go for. I have absolutely no idea how much we need. Maybe sub-provinces do count? I have no idea, actually. If sub provinces count, does that even add up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, that doesn't add up either. I, I think I've severely gone somewhere wrong here, and we're going to ignore it and just go by kind of the usual way I do this, which is just guessing and kind of getting it half right. Right. Now, um, if we attack these guys, we're going to run into an issue. Wait a second. Interesting. We have the Warlord CV back. Huh. And that's, and we now hold, if I have a look at the Jure, and we, we hold land in the Jure Kingdom of Elsewhere, right? Yeah. Okay. So what's the condition? So one bit of land does not make a, a war, a warlord is not allowed to do that. Is it because we held, we hold a duchy in that land? It must be, right? Yeah. Because this bit of land doesn't count, but this bit of land does count. So it must be because we hold a duchy in the land, we can declare? I don't know, but that's changed what I want to do quite a lot. I want just to clear an elsewhere for all of it. Yeah. That sounds good. Let's do that. So then that means, instead of declaring on Riverhold a very small amount of land, having elsewhere in the rim joining, we now declare war on elsewhere, which is a lot, and we get the rim and Riverhold joining, which actually sounds a lot better. So, the rim has 100 men. Well, you know, that's not fair. They have 101 men that they can send to us. And then this one here has about 2,000-ish, if we're being generous. Which I guess we will be for just now. Uh, I'm actually going to move my Chancellor back to performing Statecraft, because I want him to lower our threat level, especially as it's about to go up by a lot. So, we got 1,000 men here. So we're facing basically an army of 2,700... 2,800, something like that. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, let's just declare it. I mean, what, what are we scared of? Nothing. Yeah. Um, I'll have it all. Thank you very much. Um, I'm also going to call in all my allies, which by itself, my retinue and my allies give us far more men than they even have available. I'm then just going to raise up, even though I don't... Oh, oh yeah. No, no. I'm not going to raise up my own troops. Oh, that's madness. Right. Grab these troops, as many of them as we can. And then shift V to put them onto boats. Get all the boats. Move the boats over here. Anybody you cannot get on boats, move over there. Anybody you can get not get on boats over here, move over to this one. Right, all these boats moving? Nope, they also have to move over there. That's fine. Uh, let's just... Oh, and... You need to get on boats, and you need to go join this one. That's fine. Right, let's unpause and see what happens. Uh, anything else we need to do? Not really. Yeah, unpause. Um, we Are we set to not leading? We should probably not lead an army right now, because we're not feeling very well. But apart from that, not much else to do. I'm actually just going to siege this normally while I wait for troops to join us, because we've got about 600 more who need to join. That's all right. Uh, I'm expecting to lose sieges, lose battles. It's all right. Absolutely fine. Yeah, we lost a few over there. Not an issue. Not an issue whatsoever. Ooh. Actually, our vassals just won a battle for us. That was nice. We're at 6% and we have now taken one province. Uh, I suspect in terms of battles won, we're doing pretty well. Right. Um, just merging up as many armies as we can there. Right. We have another 3,000 man army. Uh, which we will get these people on the boats. We'll merge them up. Uh, right, grab these. And we'll send them over here. Alright. 
Okay, continue our siege. Right, um, we have, oh no! I have the band play a slow, somber melody which provides the backdrop to a sad song of lost romances. Those at the party consider it sad, not the song, but our efforts. A few mutter about the melodramatic tripe. We're sent on our way shortly thereafter. The guild is most displeased at our failure. We failed. The heart-wrenching ballad didn't work. We're going to need something new. All right. Spymaster, he loves us. So he can be... Actually, this guy also loves us, and he's better at it. He can be my spymaster. That's fine. Continue merging up. Uh, we got more allies we can call in. I guess because somebody died or something like that. That's fine. New commander. New commander is going to be this person. All right. Continue to merge up. Nice. So we have a 3,000 man army here, which will uh, continue along the coast. Um, and we have another 3,000 man army, which is about to land here. Which will get to continue kind of parallel. Nice. And now we can probably just assault things down. Be my guess. Yeah. We'll just assault this one down. And then this one. Next province. I see this one can go straight for the army, and then this one can kind of assault down, going in a different direction. My court physician has suggested that I buy him some better surgical tools. Sure. Move along here. We do have a slowed invasion, which happened as soon as we declared war. Interesting. As she is growing older, I could see that Sigwin could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas. Who is Sigwin, and why do I care? You know what? Release my prisoners. I don't need them. That's fine. Pack in. Uh, court physician has let me know the surgical tools I bought him were very useful. Nice. Good to know. I'm very happy about that. I don't know who she is. I, I'm not her educator. Give me a better... Give me someone to educate her, because I don't want to do it. Right. Um... Yeah, you can do it. It's fine. Okay, assault this down. And assault this down. It's basically getting war score back from them. Head over here. Uh, we'll assault that one down, even though we didn't really have the right number of men to do it. And then I'll just threaten this army. They're coming to fight me, so I'm going to uh, just put on our amazing leaders. And then hopefully that'll do the job. Yeah, yeah. We'll put on our amazing leaders. That means that this one doesn't have any leaders, so we'll give them the less good leaders, but they have less men, so that kind of makes some sense in that they don't really need the uh, good leaders, they just need to be able to do it. I ignore those. Call in our allies. Oh, oh that's to the slowed war. That's okay. We have defeated them with the uh, less army, uh, less good army. That's fine. Let's all that down. Head back to the coast, so we, we actually have um, supply. That's fine. Head in inland. Right. Salt it down. We're no longer temperate. One full news of tax collectors in Rosefield have reported that riches are poor. Report that the riches pouring out the local ruins have allowed them to collect an unusually hefty levy and have sent the fruits of their labor to me. Uh okay. We got something. We got an ebony sword. Good. Uh right. Head along here. Continue assaulting. Continue assaulting. Right, next one. I'll assault this one down. Uh, just going to head inland a little bit. Uh, we're not capped at 75, are we? Nope. Perfect. Head over there. Just cut off that army as soon as we can. There's a slowed invasion. There's going to be a couple of slowed invasions. Not really anything we can do about it, although they are seizing Rosefield, which does annoy me slightly. Um... Uh, we don't need extra currencies. I think that's what we're going to say there. Um, okay, what have we got here? We could raise 2,000 men and potentially fight this. And in fact, I think we will. Uh, so we'll send those in and then I'll raise up some men. Perfect. We'll just fight like that. See how that goes. We might get destroyed. We'll see. I really don't want to lose my... Oh my god, we are going to get destroyed. Uh... Uh, uh, um, you're getting there on the 7th of the 3rd. Hmm. Yes, to hire that holy order. Join in. And we'll hire some strong mercenaries. Just a couple of them. Not worried at all, of course. Right, and they can attack in there. 
Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, also make sure that this army... Yeah, 32 liter seems good enough. Right. Hopefully we uh, survive this. Heart wrenching Ballad failed, so this time we're going to go for Lively Fortune. Oh, never mind, I didn't need that army that I rose up there. That was actually a little bit overkill. Should have had faith. Anyway, we'll send him over here now that I have him. Right, back over to this one. Uh, we can probably just assault this down, right? Yeah. Nice. Uh, head in there, defeat their army, and then head out. Nice, nice, nice. Going well. Defeat that army. Do a little... Actually, do a little spin round like this. Call in our allies to whatever war that is. Salt this down. 96. We're getting there. Uh, salt this down. 99. Are we capped at 99? We are not capped, so one more war score will get us it. That's fine. We should get it any second now. 100%. Offer peace and enforce our demands. Well, would you look at that? Is that not much better? Feels much better to me. Yeah, disband. Well, wait just a second. Disband those troops. Disband those troops. Disband that. We are in a little bit of a revolt, but we can get rid of it. Right, uh. Yeah, continue chasing down that army. We got another slowed invasion declared upon us. I'll go get them. Right, offer peace and force demands. Okay, back over this way. Get to our next revolt. It's all just whack-a-mole with revolts here. Right. Offer peace and force demands. Nice. Okay, back over to this one. Right, offer peace and force demands. Looking good. That's looking very, very good, I'd say. Let's be an empire. So, Ultimary Dominion. Can we create it? No, because we need to hold two kingdom titles. Okay. Well, we can create the Kingdom of Aelinwood. That seems like a good title. Wait, do we already have two? No. Yeah, let's create the Kingdom of Aelinwood. Uh, I'll just head in here. It won't let me click. Weird. Uh, if I start low, there we go. Kingdom of Valenwood. Nice. Altmary Dominion. Cannot create. Wait. Special creation conditions never. Does that mean I can just never create it? Wait. Is it a decision? Wait, how do I... Oh, create the Altmary Dominion. Oh! I didn't need to create that. Ah, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, Wait, what were the conditions? So I had to be an Altmer. I had to have one of the High Kingdoms, but I have two, I guess. That's fine. Is player controlled, age is greater than 21, has a thousand personal wealth, has fi 500 prestige, has favor, has ruled for 10 years. All of the following must be true... No. Wait. That seems like not a lot of conditions. What? We could have created this ages ago. Oh well, whatever. It's mine. We're the Altmary Dominion. All hail. There we go. Um, yeah, sure, you can be my vassal. Not vassal, you can be my advisor. Uh, yeah. I was kind of expecting a little bit more fanfare, but there we go. Right. Uh, oh, there's the main. Interesting. We'll have him be our commander. Yeah, head of their, their religion, but be my commander. Uh, temporal ruler of elsewhere. The father of Khajiit's religion, and it was the main who first united the two largest two kingdoms in the realm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we could create elsewhere and give it to him. That would be interesting. But yeah, we have the uh, old married minion. That seemed surprisingly easy. I would say. Uh, yeah. Can we get retinue? I guess that's my first thought. Uh, I can probably not have those higher troops raised or my personal levy raised. Seems good. Uh, retinue. 
You get a little bit more. What are we currently using? I think it's just archers is all we're using. Oh, light infantry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of those. It's fine. That's another 2,000 troops. Um, I could just leave them here for slowed invasions, I guess. For just, Well, nah, I probably want to bring them for other things. We'll bring them over. We'll raise some boats. Uh, that might actually be enough boats to carry them for just now. It's fine. Member of the Cenarist Guild was captured. Defensive pact opposing us has been disbanded. Oh! Creating the Aldmeri Dominion has removed our threat. I guess because we actually tag switched. Weird. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, my liege, I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged from joining factions if we ask him politely. Is he in a faction? He's leading it. Yeah, I'll ask him politely. He has said he's going to leave it. Well, that's good. Yeah, fantastic. Right. We merge up these two armies. Perfect. Uh, disband the boats. Nice. Um, well, will anyone just become our vassal? I mean, he's going to say no because he's a king and it's false religion. Yeah, I think they're all going to say false religion, no. So, I guess Riverhold will just take it. That seems easy enough. Um, we now, actually, because we are an emperor-level title, um, we now get an extra domain. Like, we get an extra modifier on our domain size formula. Means that we are now at six, which is the amount that we have. Isn't that good? Now we're making even more cash. We're making 40 a month, which is just crazy. Um, there's a friend of a friend who's been introduced. Yeah, let's be close friends. That's fine. My treasured terrier has uh, passed away. Oh, we can't hold a funeral for every pet, I'm afraid. It's, it's, there's just too many. People are being dishonorable against me or something. I don't know. Right. And we inherited the Barony of Tenmar. Which is funny, because I think that was the... Oh no, we were, it was Torval was the one we were getting claims on constantly. Anyway, uh, we can give away Tenmar. In fact, what we should probably do... I was joking, but we should actually create the... We should create elsewhere. Um, we, oh, we actually don't have enough to create it. Wait, yes we do. No, we need 66%. Never mind, I read them the wrong way around. Uh, we should give away Valenwood. We should definitely give away Valenwood to somebody of our religion. Actually, let's give away Valenwood to my son, who is in Valenwood. That seems like the obvious choice, right? Council votes no. There's an empty seat on the council? Spymaster. Oh. Well, you can obviously be my spymaster. I'm not going to put this person in charge. They'll kill me. Yeah. Right. So, let's try it again. My son, I would like to grant you... Valenwood. No. I am unlanded and I should get the title. Um, as part of the... De no, no, sorry, that's not what he said. Is this... Did you, they're both de jure in there. Okay, that's fine. You're saying no because... Does not follow the Green Pack religion. Okay, that's fine. I was just checking that that wasn't my divine prosecutor who was saying that. Okay. Uh, what other reasons do we have? Pragmatist. I do not want to grant land to someone of your dynasty. Okay. Well, what if instead I just bought a favor from this guy? Yeah. Right. Uh, call in his council support. Hey, lovely. Now I can give all the land to my son. Look at that. Wasn't that easy? Our son is going to be ridiculously powerful. That we have to be... We have to remember. But he's also my heir. So I'm not that worried about it. He's actually not that powerful this exact second, because he's way over his vassal limit somehow. Uh, why is his vassal limit 1? Maybe it's because you're not meant to be a tribe with that many vassals? Something's gone horribly wrong there. Right, I need a new chief uh, Justicar, which will be that one. I need a new spy master, which will be Arakar, who has also got many other titles. He's mage, proxy ruler, court physician... Now my spy master. Yeah, if there's ever anyone who's going to stab me in the back, it's this guy. I mean, he's he's even going for the eye patch thing. He, he's destined to be evil. New commanders. Our commanders were mostly in Valenwood, unfortunately, by the looks of it. That's really not too great, but whatever. That's a very odd look. Uh, that is, that's just odd. Right. 
Wait, is the side of her head missing or is that hair? That's hair. Okay, I couldn't tell whether that was just blank or... Anyway, whatever. Advisor. Definitely gonna be my son, yeah. Right, and he loves me. For many, many reasons. So that's all good. That's fantastic. Right, I do want to give away elsewhere against somebody of our religion. But we need to actually get elsewhere, which means we need to get Riverhold. Which, given that we have no threat whatsoever... Well, you want vassalization? Power? Ah, uh, okay, well... We can say does your claims on things, but I don't really need the does your claims. I can press all claims. I could warlord conquer it. Uh, nice, I still have the warlord conquering. Does your claims? Wait, these are different. Does your claims? Wait, does your claim? Oh, we can go to war for the whole duchy. It says, but we can't go to war for the whole duchy. Oh, I understand. Okay, so this is the Duchy of Riverhold, but they have land in other duchies, which we could declare for. However, we just want to declare for Riverhold, because he actually only holds one duchy, which is Riverhold, and if we take it, then that's fine. Right, yeah. I would like Riverhold, please. Nobody else is joining. Let's do it. Call in everybody that we can, which is actually just one vassal now. Right, and then just attack in. Make sure we have good leaders. So, mostly Khajiit leaders, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Right. Uh, assault down. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Um, oh, somebody's dead. Um, Balak can be my new steward, and he can collect taxes over here. That's fine. Right. Back into this. Next province and the army. We've defeated them. Wait a couple days. Take that down. Next one. Not going to catch the army, but we are going to take it down. Uh, you would like to give everyone siege leader for a favor. Sure. Sounds good to me. And you're not even on my council. I'm not sure what favor is going to do you, but that's fine. I mean, there's none of my uh, children that need to be uh, like married off or anything. You're not going to do anything crazy. Right. Uh, assault this down. We are losing quite a lot of men. In fact, I think we did just lose that siege. Not quite. Lively folk tunes are what we do now. Yep, good, good, good. 100%, there we go. Offer peace and force demands. That's Riverhold. We're now threatening at 50% exactly. Okay. So yeah, they're just underneath us now. Uh, I'll give the land to uh, one of the other ones who was underneath there. I'll give you Riverhold. Fantastic. And now... If I just put in a new commander, which will be that one. Let's have a look here. So, I can now create the kingdom of elsewhere. Yes, fantastic. Uh, and actually, I want to give this all, I guess, to this person. Or, like, to this person. Because he is of my religion. Yeah. And he's pure. That's what we're looking for. Alright, so we'll grant him the kingdom of elsewhere. That's a lot of land we're granting him. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grant it to someone who has holds land in Valenwood. What, what land do you actually hold? Uh, I thought it was near the coast. Uh, where, what land does our daughter hold? Is it near the coast? Or near where I'm looking for? Uh, not coast. I was mean border. Yeah, it's kind of near the border. I'm going to grant it to my daughter. I'm going to grant her the kingdom of elsewhere. There we go. That seems lovely. She also is very happy with me. Just in general. Even with the minus 40 for once a seat on the council. That's alright. Uh, she also has a very weird vassal limit. Um, is he, his sorted? Ah, his sorted. So it must sort at the end of the month or something like that. Need a new marshal. Um, I guess it could be Maine. But I, instead of that, how about we make it this person? Right, that's okay. Corbin Statecraft. I do want to change laws eventually to... Never mind. Uh, the law I wanted to change is gone. Or isn't... It never existed here. So that's fine. Um, I do want to change some of these laws down so that we can change their authority to being ruler. Which I think would be fantastic for us. Like perhaps grant titles. But there we go. We now have two vassals. We have Valenwood and Elsewhere. Almost looking nice. Um, I guess actually for Elsewhere... There are a few vassals I want to transfer, like Maine needs to be underneath you. Uh, and probably uh, Senshal. Although they're already underneath you, so that's fine. Um, that is Alinor over here, so that's not a problem. Yeah, well that's good. 
Right. Well, I think we've made a lot of progress today, so I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.